Before you can work with any of our artwork files, you'll need to unzip the file. What a zip file is, it's just a package or container that compresses the file size and protects the artwork from uh, corruption during the download process. Here I am on a PC. I'm an Internet Explorer. I have it open up to a page that I want. I just have to choose the image that I want to download. I'm going to hit the download button. It'll charge me my download like normal. And I'll get this window. What do you want to do with this digital.zip file? So we can open it, and if it says the file won't be saved automatically, we can save it or save as. I like to hit the Save button. And in Internet Explorer, if you look here at the bottom, I can open it. I can open it in a folder. I can view it in a downloads. But I'm not going to do anything with this stuff here at the bottom right now. I'm just going to X out of that. I'm going to minimize this. And we're going to go find our downloads folder. So we downloaded that file. It's in our downloads folder on our computer, and there it is. We know that this is a, a zip file because we can see this little folder with this little zippered icon. So if we click on it, um, I want to right click and I'm going to extract all. And when you do that, you'll get this dialog. I, I don't change any of these settings. I just go ahead and hit the extract button here. And what I want to do is close this window. It's just showing me the inside of that folder, but I'm going to close this window because this is my zipped file here, right? It says compress zipped. And then right here is the digital file. So if I just open up this folder, there's the file that I want to use that we just downloaded. So now I'm going to show you what these things will look like in Google, Chrome, and Firefox on the PC. So here we are in Google Chrome on a PC. Let's do the same thing. Let's go ahead and pick us an image and go ahead and download it. Let's hit the download, the charge button. That's OK. Now in Chrome, if you notice the bottom of our screen, down here is where the image uh, comes up, so it tells you that it's been downloaded. So let's go ahead and find our downloads folder. Here's our downloads folder, double click it, and here's our file. We can see the zippered icon that is a zipped file. Before we can bring it into Illustrator or Corel Draw or Photoshop or anything, we have to unzip it first. Just right click on it, hit extract all, and don't change anything, just hit extract and you're going to see it there's all of our files that were in that folder that we just opened up. I'm going to close this thing here so you can see where it is. Our zipped file is right here in the downloads folder, and our extracted files are in a folder right next to it. So here we are in Firefox. Let's hit the download button and hit the uh, download button again to agree and be charged the one download. So here it says opening the file. Um, what I want to do is I can open this file with the Internet Explorer, but I don't recommend that. I always save the file. I want to just take the file from the Internet straight into my computer. I'm going to hit OK, and there it goes. So a little arrow pop up over here. So let's go ahead and find our Downloads folder. There it is. So here's our digital file. We can tell it's a zipped file. See the little zipper icon? That's why we always have to unzip our artwork when we download it because this is just a container that protects the file in transition. So I'm going to right click and I'm going to hit extract all and I'm going to leave it right in the same location. I just hit extract. Uh, it opens up the window and shows me the image that we have in that folder. So I'm going to close that window and here it is. So here's our zipped file and here's our file that's unzipped and when we open it up there it is. Those were the three most common used browsers on a PC. Uh, so just remember, always, 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 the first thing you have to do after you download a file is to unzip it. It's super easy to do, and if you don't change the location of your files, they will always go to your downloads folder. PCs and Macs both default to that location. If you go there and your downloads are not in that spot, that means at some point, somewhere, somehow, you change that location and you just need to do a search on your computer to see where they're going.